In this video, we're going to do some practice problems related to the derivative of exponential functions. First, let's just look at just finding some derivatives, and then we'll do a more uh, complicated application problem. So to find these derivatives, let's do the derivative rules we learned in the section 3.1, and that is we can write a constant out in front of the derivative. So we have 2 times the derivative of 3 to the x plus the derivative of 5 to the x. And both of these are going to use our rule that the derivative of a to the x is a to the x times natural log of a, or I think we usually write the natural log of a first. Either way, that's our rule that we're going to use here. So this whole thing is going to be equal to 2 times the natural log of 3 times 3 to the x plus the natural log of 5 times 5 to the x. And that's as simple as we can write it. Next example is kind of a weird one. It looks sort of um, symmetric. The derivative of e to the x minus x to the e. So let's do our rule here that I'm going to write this as the derivative of e to the x minus the derivative of x to the e. And these are two completely different derivative rules. So the first one is our new derivative rule that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And the other one is using the power rule. This isn't an exponential function. It is a power function. And that is we're going to bring the power down out in front and decrease the power by 1. So it's important to recognize what is an exponential function and what is a power function. And that leads us to our last example on this page, which is we have three functions that look somewhat alike, 3x, x cubed, and 3 to the x. And all these are dealt with in slightly different ways. So we have the derivative of 3x plus the derivative of x cubed plus the derivative of 3 to the x. So 3x, the derivative is just 3. You can think about that as the derivative of a line is the slope of a line. Or you could do the power rule on that, bring the 3 out in front. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of x cubed is using our power rule, 3x squared. And the derivative of 3x is our new exponential rule, natural log of 3 times 3x. So it's a quick recap of three different functions that may look kind of the same, but are you know completely different, all of those. All right, one more example problem here, an application problem. The population of a town is modeled by the function f of t equals 120, 1.35 to the t. So notice here, this is an exponential function with a equal to 1.35. And t is going to be the year since 2010. So find the rate at which the population was increasing in 2017. So what this means is to find the rate that is, we are finding the derivative. The rate of change is the derivative. And in 2017, since I have t is years since 2010, this means this is at t equals 7. So I'm trying to find the derivative at 7. So first, let's find the derivative. Then we'll plug in 7. This derivative is going to be the derivative with respect to t, 120, 1.35 to the t. Maybe it's good to write that as 120 times the derivative of 1.35 to the t. So that's going to be 120 times the natural log of 1.35 times 1.35 to the t. 
So f prime of seven is going to be 120, natural log of 1.35 times 1.35 to the seventh power. And if we plug that into a calculator, we would get that this is equal to 294.3. I guess we should say it's about 294.3. So what does this value actually represent? This is the rate at which the population was increasing in 2017. To put it in words, this uh, we say this is going to be people per year. Right, we should expect about 294 people in 2018. 294 more people in 2018 than in 2017. That's uh, interpreting the derivative in terms of just words. That's what we did in section 2.4.